Mr. Bond considers that you've been dishonest in how you presented himself, his case. Um, there was nothing demanding about his presentation before the court was there. He was fully cooperative with social workers, including uh, Ms. Dadrell. According to uh, Ms. Dadrell's assessments, he was cooperative. But in terms of his demeanor, you know, some of your responses towards me or some of your responses toward uh, the local authority. Is my demeanor uh, on trial or advocates, is it my ability to parent uh, and my son being safe and my ability to provide? You set out that the fear uh, that we have is from emotional harm. Is that right? Yes. Mr. Bond, you accept, had been assessed positively um, and quite extensively by Ms. Dad. The aspects that were um, that were assessed by Ms. Dadrell did not delve much into the potential of emotional harm that Christian can experience uh, if placed with either of his parents. Contact once the one that I've supervised once, and also from the reports, um, you know, the, the contact um, notes that are coming from the other colleagues that are supporting your contact, uh, contact with your son, and um, they've actually um, they're positively identifying you as providing emotional warmth to, uh, to your son, potential of emotional harm, providing emotional warmth. So you, you, you tell us at the start. Um, is to establish his position, the father's position on contact uh, with the mother. You call it parental alienation, do you remember? Yes. And those are cautions, aren't they, which are adopted entirely by the local authority. And you've raised some of them yourself, such as um, uh, the abduction risk. It is not. We know that she tried to kill his father, so she's homicidal. I have seen uh, a police record where there's been uh, talk about murder, but, um, ab sorry, about killing, but it wasn't clear whether this reference was actually for you or for Christian. Do you think I'm making this up? You, I guess you didn't read it. This is why I really don't feel safe with him being in your country. Because you guys don't seem to understand how dangerous this woman is. Christine's own mother is on court record testifying that she will kill him. And she previously neglected and abused him. And all of this is on record. All of this is indisputable. And yet he was put in a room with her. What did you people think was going to happen? Why would I let her anywhere near my child? Or around me, for that matter? If she were a healthy, normal fucking person, then maybe she could be around him. <laughs> I'd entertain that. But she's actively tried to have me murdered. That's not parental alienation, is it?
there is parental alienation. Is is there a chance of your son uh, meeting or having a relationship with maternal side? And Mr. Bond isn't looking to exclude other members of the maternal family, is he? He's simply saying if it's safe, it can be looked at, and that's what he told you. For all I know, they're going to try to take him away and give him back to Christine somehow. Um, so I have to be very careful with that. But if I were able to trust them, and it's clear they would just like to visit him maybe, or you know, I could go to Hawaii and, and visit them, um, I would not be opposed to that. Um, as long as it is definitely safe and secure, I would be open to it. Yeah, no, that, no, that's really great, you know, um, because the first part is that is is making that assessment, isn't it? That it, it, this is safe to do. Yeah. He'd be open to contact with the maternal family if it was safe and it needed assessing. Which maternal family members was he referring to? And uh, child services in LA had also done an extensive. Um, they, they came over, they looked at the property, looked at my car, um, and they gave uh, Serena to draw a full report. Mr. Bond um, said that he will seek the support of the local police services, um, as well as seeking an order to protect Christian. He knew what he needed to do and he was prepared to do that. I was confident that he would take um, the measures to be able to protect Christian. You have the plans and things have been in, um, are in place. Do you accept the father and keep this child safe from any um, disturbances from the mother? I do believe that uh, Christian will, will be at risk. So is that a no then? Yes. Father's been having months and months and months of contacts, hasn't he? He's never spoken about the mother in front of the child or to the child. He he has spoken to he has spoken about the um, he has not spoken about uh, the mother to the child, but he has spoken about the mother to to the professionals. Yes, and, and that's that, that's a different point, though, isn't it, Mr. Hall? He, he he's he's entitled, isn't he, Mr. Hall, to um, passionately advocate his case on behalf of his child. But there's a difference between talking to professionals about that and maligning the mother to the child. Do you see that's a different thing? It's qualitatively a different thing. It's not about parenting. It's about his engagement with you. I'm not going to differentiate the two. Thank you very much, Mr. Hall. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Um, I was just going to raise one thing on the timetable, which is... This judge obviously doesn't have any interest in doing what's best for him, because if that were the case, she wouldn't have set up an in-person visitation with his mother. Bond, what is it you want to say? I don't know why we're going to play Russian roulette with this to see how it goes. His mother put a hit out to have me murdered. She almost killed him, and this isn't my opinion. This is evidence my son will be harmed by this. I was spending this whole thing about how to reunite my abused son with his abuser. I think it's sick. So far as any risk is concerned, I'm confident it can be managed by a contact supervisor. Right, Mr. Vine, back to the agenda. She knew damn well that that was dangerous, so did the L.A. Uh, lo local authority knew that, Coventry City Council knew that, everybody there was advising the judge, if you're going to do this, you have to have a phase-in plan. You, you are the parent who has gone through the hell of, for the, you know, past year or so, you know, uh, going through all the emotions and, you know, the emotional trauma that comes, you know, with a child separated from you and in another country. I don't really know what the judge is going to say, but I'm... In some way, I don't know whether it comes as a consolation to you or it does help. But I'm saying, you know what, just keep an open mind. Don't be too pessimistic. Um, I wasn't dishonest. And that's the end.